All right, so we're starting a new unit now talking about redox reactions. Previously, we've talked about double replacement reactions where we have like an ion and compound and another ion and compound and they switch ion partners. But we don't necessarily change the identity of those ions. Now we're gonna look at a, react, a redox reaction where we actually may change the identity of those ions that form different ions, new ions, maybe something that was an ion into something that's no longer an ion, maybe something like a neutral element. We can do this by what we call redox reactions. Okay, a redox reaction is a reaction where we have a transfer of electrons. Okay, so this is the important thing about a redox reaction. We have electrons involved here. So we're going to have something lose electrons and give that to something that's gaining electrons. Okay, we need to have a couple ways that we define that. Okay, so we call it redox because we have reduction occurring. Okay, and when we have reduction occurring, what we're going to see is that is a gain in electrons. So something is gaining electrons, and then the second part of that oxidation, well, if something gains electrons, something else has to lose electrons. So we have something lose electrons, that's going to go to whatever is going to gain those electrons, and that would be what's reduced. Okay, so let's look at an example here. Let's say we have solid potassium. It's going to react with bromine as a gas. And when it, this happens, we're going to see maybe that produces solid potassium bromide. Okay, so we can't treat this like a double replacement reaction, right? We're not switching ion partners. If we go ahead and kind of break this up into what's happening, we got something that's neutral here, something else that's neutral here, and then we're forming this ionic compound. So let's go ahead and break it down into first what's happening to potassium, secondarily what's happening to our bromine. Okay, so if we look at our potassium, we see we start as neutral potassium. That potassium goes to, if we look at this potassium bromide, it's now a plus one charged potassium ion. Okay, well if it's coming from neutral to positive, it's losing something that's negative, right? Our electron. And so therefore, it's undergoing oxidation. It loses that electron. We're producing it and giving it away. So we see here, we have oxidation occurring with our potassium. Well, then we go to our bromine. Hopefully, right, if we have the correct setup here, that our bromine is then being reduced, gaining those electrons. Well, we see that when we have Br2, each of our bromine atoms are going to gain an electron and become negatively charged okay and so that would be part of our solid the bromine and we see here we have reduction occurring our bromine is gaining electrons our potassium is losing electrons so we would call this a redox reaction reduction oxidation reaction where we have something gaining electrons and something losing electrons, okay? So when we do this, we're able to identify what's being oxidized by whatever loses electrons, what's being reduced by whatever is gaining those electrons. We also can discuss this with regards to what we call an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent, okay? So we're gonna see that an oxidizing agent, we can define this as something that is causing oxidation to occur. Okay, so it's a substance that causes something else to be oxidized. Well, if we look at this, we see, well, our potassium is being oxidized. What is making that potassium be oxidized? It's reaction with the bromine. So we could say our bromine here, our Br2, that is our oxidizing agent. That is the substance causing oxidation to occur in our potassium. Well, our bromine is being reduced. So we can also have what we call our reducing agent. Okay, well, our reducing agent is something that causes reduction to occur in something else. Well, we see our bromine is being reduced, gaining electrons. Well, those electrons come from somewhere. They come from our potassium being oxidized. So we can see that our potassium is our reducing agent, the thing causing reduction to occur in our bromine. Okay, so kind of 
as a synopsis, we've looked at generically reduction, gaining electrons, oxidizing, loosening electrons. We can look at an overall reaction. We can break it up into what's being oxidized, what's being reduced, and then we can also label, well, the thing causing oxidation, the substance, is our bromine here. The substance, or in this case element, causing uh, reduction to occur is our potassium, which we observe is itself being oxidized. So in our next video, we're going to look at what if we have more complex molecules? And they aren't just simply pure elements or maybe just the binary um, ionic compounds. How do we identify if something's being reduced or oxidized there?